the, the fact of the matter is, the mind is, this is, what he's, this is where he gets into his metaphysical treatise. He started with what he can know. And now he's saying, what exists? And what he's about ready to do is start to say that there is a division between the mind and the body. His metaphysics start with saying, there is something different with the mind than there is with the body. He first calls it, says, well, perhaps it's like a man piloting some sort of machine. But really, if you're piloting, you know, if you're driving your car and you scrape it up against something, do you feel it? If I come up beside you and, and accidentally, of course, with some sort of razor sharp object, brush it across your arm, do you feel it? Oh, heck yeah. So somehow, the mind and the body are connected, but are separate. One takes up space. One is influenced by other physical objects. But the other is not. There is another thing, this thinking thing, this part that is really me, the I, that does not take up space. It is not affected by physical objects. But, sorry, I, I see some I see some pondering. I it uh how can it not be affected by physical things when you feel pain? Okay. Um, what I'm saying is that this bit that is, okay. Do you have a soul? I believe so. Where is it? I don't know. I mean, within me. Within you? Yeah. If I cut off your arm, you lose part of it? No. Okay, so where in you is it? It's in your, is it? I don't know. Is it in your heart? <laughs> is it in your, maybe your thigh bones? Ponder, you say that's, you know, it's funny, whenever I say that, people laugh. Uh, it's interesting that during the Renaissance, they believed that the soul resided within the skull and the thigh bones. <laughs> You'll laugh. You'll laugh at people. Well, what's the symbol for poison? Uh, interesting, it, it's an interesting parallel. I, don't, I haven't made the connection distinctly, but I, I think there's a connection there. Um, so, is it, is it the body that is primarily affected by the physical objects? Now, your body feels the pain. Your body transmits information. But have I changed who you are? Have I changed who the I is? Have I cut off your arm? What about like when you take substances and like even like alcohol or you were saying that LSD, that's going to change your mind, the way it perceives things. Okay, touche. You cut my arm off, I'm going to get pretty depressed. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to change me. I imagine if I cut your arm off, you're going to come at me with the other one. <laughs> um, here's the deal. Do you believe that your soul lives beyond you, beyond your physical death? That's Descartes did. After we die? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. As you said, with the LSD and the poison, Poison. Uh, well, fair enough. LSD and, and all sorts of, of things that can, that can distort your perceptions. Now, once, do you believe that you live on beyond your own physical, de uh, physical death? Okay. Suppose that uh, you have brain damaged yourself, and then uh, after that, I, I'm assuming that I, I, I'm trying to. And people have mentioned something about their religious perspectives, and I'm not. I can't keep all of your religious perspectives straight. But you know, suppose. If I'm remembering yours right, you change your life around, you get you get things on the right track, you die and you go to heaven. Are you going to be Dane Bramaged in heaven? Are you going to be like, man, I was so screwed up when I was down there, and now I can't. No, but I think you would reflect in what you do later on. Okay. Maybe your choices you make. Okay. Or where you go, what you do in your physical body makes a change. If you go to heaven, if you do go to hell. Okay. It may change in effect where your final destination is. But here, here's the rub of the matter. Have you effectively distorted completely who that mind is that may live beyond its existence if you've taken those chemicals and even later reformed going to heaven? Does it, do you still, are you sitting there as a, as a, gosh, I've said that once as a joke. No, I can't stop saying Dane Bram, <laughs> Dane Bram. Uh, do, you, are, do you have a brain? Well, if you are blind and you never see color when you go to, when you leave in your soul, would you see the color then? 
you know what I mean? That has to be the best thing. Contact is the physical. With your physical body. Okay. You don't know color. You have no knowledge of color. You don't know black from white, from blue from red. But I mean, that would make, I think, a difference. You can't just all of that come on to knowledge when you go to heaven and have. Ah, uh, now here's the thing is we're, we're, are, are we talking about knowledge? Are we talking about what happens with the physical, physical environment that affects this intangible, non-physical self? The things that you're telling me have to do with how will you react to that? Am I hearing you right? I'm trying to stay away from that, but I see where I am going at. Okay. And again, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only playing devil's advocate uh -huh. with you. Okay. Just want to make sure that we're clear on oh, that. Yeah. At this point, and this is the point where Descartes at, he says, it still seems that this physical self and the non-physical self are two totally different things. And he evaluates things as such. He does say that there is some mysterious connection between the two. That when you touch your body, you have the impression in your mind. How does it transmit there? And this is something that we're going to discuss when we get to metaphysics. At that point, um, I, I really don't want to let the cat out of the bag. I mean, I'm really spoiling something to say that Descartes really didn't know. Yeah. Okay, so what about um, the, like, you know, with, um, like, your, like, if I was to cut myself, it transmitted through neurons without having anything to do with it? Like, neurons in the sensory nervous system? And All right. And then it goes to through the uh, sensor, the sensor, the sensory nervous to the sensory nervous to the spinal cord to the brain. Okay, and once it's in the brain, is that the mind? Is the brain the mind? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, does the brain live on? Okay. That here, personal question. If you don't mind me asking, you have every right to say back off. Do you believe that you live beyond your death? No. Okay, so for you, you could say the mind is completely contained within the brain. Physical reactions only. Is that where you're at? Okay, that's another answer. And you say, Descartes, you're screwed up. Physical, physical mind, physical brain, that's all I got. Shut up. That's a, not, I'm not telling you to shut up. You're telling Descartes to shut up, just so you know. Yeah. That, that's what you told him. Um, that's going to be a different metaphysical paradigm called physicalism or materialism. Okay. So we're going to talk about you. Well, not talk about you. But we're, going to, we're going to talk about the stuff that you've got um, in a couple of weeks. To, to go into that now would really be skirting this huge, huge gap in epistemology. We're going to be talking about epistemology and metaphysics together to some degree, but I don't know if we can go that far ahead just yet without covering some of what's in between. Mm -hmm. Dang it, I hate it when you do that. Why are you getting ahead? Are you reading ahead? Me? Yeah. No. Uh, don't lie to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even read the first part. No. <laughs> Not all of it. No, that's okay. That's okay. Um, what do you think about what Descartes has put up here? Particularly where we're at, this divide between physical and nothing. Uh, you don't want to ask me. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you went like this and you're about ready to say something. Like, he put you in one. In one state of mind, thinking one way, and then he makes like a 360 degree. Mm -hmm. yeah. I still don't understand where. Uh, I don't know how to put it. Okay. Uh, how do I put it? The brain feels pain. Uh huh. But. Um, uh, the brain I, feels pain, but, does, but how does it get to the mind? Is that your question? Yeah. Okay. Well, if, 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 yeah, if that's a so. if that's a problem, do you have a will of your own? Do you, no. You don't. No. You don't say I want to like I want to wiggle my finger, and then it does. Is that something that you command your body to do? 